On today's episode, I'm going to fix this headliner finally. As you can see, uh, it's all over the place. So, we're going to go ahead and take this out real quick. This will be my first time replacing a headliner thing like this. But it seems pretty easy. There's just a bunch of clips, maybe a few screws. Get you turned around here. Got one of these uh, aftermark light thingies. Maybe I'll even uh, wire that thing back up. It hasn't worked since I bought this thing. And um, the roof suffered uh, water damage before I purchased it. Um, because uh, this light, I believe on the other side of this light, it's drilled all the way through. And there used to be a spotlight on here. That would have been a cool feature to have. But it's not there anymore. That's all patched up. So we're going to take this cool sheet that I have, cut it up. Use some spray adhesive, throw it back on there, dry it, slap it back up, and hopefully it uh, looks good. So, let's get to work. So we're going to go ahead and start with the low-hanging fruit here and take off this stuff. And this just looks like it's a old Phillips head screwdriver. It shouldn't be too bad. If I can get that in there. Oh no, that's a... Uh, star bit. Be right back. Okay, looks like it'll be a T15. Put that to the test. Okay, so now we gotta pop these oh shit handles off. I believe we can just work this in there. Alright, I'm gonna use two hands for this. These are just clips here, and yeah, they don't pull all the way out, just enough, then that's loose. This is just a clip, so that's loose. You can see that clip right there, just pops right out, fits right in here, I believe, somewhere in there, up here. Now the front is pretty loose. We have two more daily snakins here. We'll try to pop out. See what's on the other side of them. So they just pull right out. You just need to persuade them a little bit.
these wires are just really dangerous. Everybody else sends all this foam pad stuff off so they, that they get a good adhesion. I don't know if I want to do that though. It's a pretty thin material, it's a pretty thin headliner. I might just uh, saturate it with adhesive and see what that does. Okay, here is the sheet that we are working with. Notice that it has a bunch of holes cut in it, so I hope I have enough material left to put it on this headliner. But let's find out. Of, of choice today so 3mm high strength 90 uh, it says it's industrial strength moisture and heat resistant and uh, you can pick this up online at a local hardware store Home Depot wherever it's between like 10 and 15 dollars or so it's the uh, 90 strength not the 45 not 75 but the 90 so we'll see if it does any good so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that sheet off I'm gonna drench that headliner in this stuff, pull the sheet over and try to make it look nice. Should look better than it did before at least.
anyway, that's what we ended up with, guys. Just a little dirty. Say all in all, I'm out about 10 bucks. Um, now it doesn't look the nicest, but it does have a very homey type feel to it. Having a sheet up above my head, it really brings out the blue in here too. Um, not overly impressed, but I am happy with it. And I do uh, think it is a slight upgrade from what it was before, especially uh, just in the atmosphere that it uh, contributes to in here. I spend a lot of time um, in this vehicle in summertime overlanding and having a nice atmosphere while you're spending hours, you know, sometimes hours on the road uh, at any given time. Um, having a good atmosphere makes a difference, so I'm pretty happy with it for what it is. Um, probably uh, could have slowed down and not rushed it so much, but I needed to get this done now because I got to be on the uh, be on the ferry. Uh, I had all my overland trip here in a few days, so this was just something I wanted to wrap up real quick. Um, just so I can get this crap from hanging out in my face. And I had a, a spare sheet laying around that was donated um, a while back. And I've never looked at it until uh, I started, until I already ripped down the headliner and found two big assholes. So, <laughs> so uh, we had to contort the sheet stretch it a little funny in places and right back here it's just kind of glued up and but whatever it doesn't have to be perfect it's an old truck it just has to be a little bit better than it was and uh all in all i am pleased with it not overly imp impressed but i'm pleased with it so go ahead and smash that like button if you found something in here that uh you find useful or if you found some entertainment out of this or you know maybe you learned what not to do who knows uh, comment down below with um, any comments that you have, questions you have, or if you've done something similar or you bought a really cool uh, headliner. Like I, I think it would be really cool to uh, get the camo headliner up here. Um, but if you've uh, done your own do-it-yourself and you got a video, put that link down in, in the comments, man. I want to see that. And uh, if you have links to some cool headliners I should check out, throw that in the comments too. I'd love to check that out. Uh, but otherwise... Smash that like button, comment, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Feel free to check out my channel. I got a ton of other videos on this channel now. I got like 81, over 80 videos. So got a lot of content for you for overlanding, for camper rebuilding, for all kinds of maintenance and things on this truck and performance upgrades. So we're always doing something around here. Next week we're hopping on the ferry and we're going to go do some overlanding. So it may be a little bit before I update you with another video because I'll be... Uh, out living life but i am going to film as much as i can including the ferry ride down there so you guys can get a little experience of the alaska marine highway if you've never been on it or if you have and you just want some nostalgia well i'll provide that all right guys thanks for sticking around this long we will see you on the next one